Welcome back to Family Science. We're so excited that you all joined us for week two of learning about the heart. My name is Luz. I work for Iridescent, and I am an engineer. What did you learn last week? A stethoscope? Okay, great. Anything else? Yes? Hearts. Hearts? Okay, great. How about you back in the pink right there? A stethoscope, okay. And what does a stethoscope do? I wasn't here, so I want to know what you what you learned about it. Okay, how about you? It, it helps you hear your heart. Okay, so a stethoscope helps you hear your heart. So this is an animation of your heart. And this is what's happening inside your body. Uh -huh, how about you over there? Okay, that's a great question. Why does it open and close? Okay. Okay, so why, why, what is the blue? Okay, so today we're going to hopefully answer some of those questions. We normally think about the heart um, as something that doctors work on. But engineers, like us, also work on the heart, right? And that's what we're going to learn about today. When you think of electrical systems, right? Um, normally we think of electrical systems in cars. You know, cars are wired through the battery um, to power things in the car, like your, the speakers, the car radio, um, or our, our wiring in our house. I used to be an electrical engineer. So I used to design, when I was an electrical engineer, I worked for Motorola, and I used to design electrical systems for cars. Our body also has an electrical system. There's nerves that act like wires in our body that communicate signals from the heart to the brain, from your toe. If you, if you stub your toe, there's a, a, a wire, like a wire, that communicates to your brain. So if we're electrical, right, if we have a system, right, so that means that there's signals in us, right? There's electrical signals in us. What would happen in this situation? What is this? Uh -huh. Yeah, he would get electrified, right? This is dangerous, right? You don't want a baby touching um, the outlet, right? Okay. So why do you think he would get electrified? We're going to find out today why someone, why the body, why we get electrified. So we're going to make an electrical circuit today. Okay, Michelle? You're going to be our light bulb in our circuit. What, does anyone know what this is? A battery. Brian's going to be our battery. So how about that? Can I have a few more volunteers to make our circuit? Everybody, come on. Whoever wants to come up. Yeah, come on, come on. Okay. Who's the light bulb? Can you raise it? Light bulb? We're trying to power that light bulb, right? Where's the battery? Battery, okay, battery is our source of energy. So what do we need to do to get battery to the to our light bulb? How are we going to power it? Connect it? Okay, what is your name? Elizabeth. Okay, Elizabeth says connect it. Okay, so, so these are all my connectors. Everyone else that's not the battery or the light. So how could we do that? With a, like... It's like, um, it's like a pathway, like, with like whole hands. Great, uh-huh. Abraham just told me that a way that we can connect and make this circuit is, that, is if they all hold hands and touch the battery, and then the other end will touch the light. Come up here and help us. You designed the circuit. So you're going to be the electrical engineer. Okay, that's the light bulb. Mm -hmm. That's your battery. This, these are your connectors. But it's supposed to be two cables, right? Try it, try it. One in it, one. Uh-huh. So then, okay, so great idea. Oh, wow, okay. So we know, we already know. You guys are, you guys already know all of this, right? She said there has to be two cables. One positive and one negative. Okay. So the battery, the battery has a plus and a minus, right? So how are we going to do that? How can I do that? Okay. Come okay, come on, engineer. Muchas gracias. Un aplauso por la ingeniera María. Okay, gracias. Okay, so wait, everyone started clapping. What happened? Did the light stay on? 
When they started clapping? Why? Why? Because everybody... Okay, yeah, go ahead. Uh huh. So everyone took. So we made. We disconnected the circuit, right? What happens if I disconnect him? No light, right? Lights off. Yes, yes. Oh, you're also disconnected, right? Yeah. Okay. What happens? Okay, so she said the light turns off. Okay, so I can make him a switch, right? On, uh, on, off, on, right? What happens if I take the light off? So light, and and they're still holding hands. Okay, yes, Brian, right? Brian, what happens? What do you think would happen? It turns off. It turns off. Okay, yeah, you're right. This this no longer has power, so she's off. So go down, right? So she's off right now. Uh huh. There's no there's no light, only electricity. Okay, yeah. So there's no light, but there's still just electricity. So right now, right? I'm gonna do this. I have a battery, which is like Brian, right? And right now, these are the kids, right? Right? And they're on each side of him. If they're holding hands without a light bulb at the end. Huh? What do you think? Right now, are you holding hands? No. Okay, hold hands. Hold hands. Hold hands. Okay, so right now we have the battery. There's kids. These are the kids on the wire. Right? There's no light bulb, but now there's they're holding hands, so they're completing the circuit. Right? So what's gonna happen? Huh? Right? So has anyone ever seen that happen? Okay. Okay, right? So that's what's happening right now. We're making what's called a short circuit, right? Un corto, right? So the hardest part about making a circuit, so right now they're making a circuit. We have a battery, which is an energy source. We have a light bulb that we're lighting, right? And we have a conductive path. Conductive means that uh, the electrical energy can flow through it, right? And that's like wire, right? It's like wire, right? So the kids are making wire. When I was an engineer, the hardest part about making a circuit is when I thought it should work, and it didn't, right? It's connected right, right? They're all holding hands, there's a battery, the light bulb is there, and it's not working, right? So I had to look through everywhere, like make sure, okay, are they holding hands? Is everything okay? Let me see right here. Are they okay? You know, I have to go, and if I have a big circuit that covers this room, I have to spend hours troubleshooting, right? Because it looks right, but it's not. Thank you. You're right. Yeah. Right. So what? What do you think I did in that situation? Huh? Right? I just kept trying, right? I kept trying to troubleshoot, right? Because it would take me hours, but then it feels good, right? When finally that light goes on, right? So sometimes you don't get it initially, even though you think it's right. But it's great to, if you, once you keep trying, eventually oh, it will work, right? If you put in enough time. Like we were talking earlier about the heart. Someone asked, what makes the heart beat? There's electricity in our heart that makes it beat. So right here, there's like a circuit right there, right? That is, that is natural, right? It's the heart's natural pacemaker, which is like a circuit that we made today. So ready to be an electrical engineer? Yeah. Okay. So tonight... You're all going to get to make your own circuit. Everyone is going to get a kit. Do you know what this is? Battery. Okay. If you remember Brian up here in the circuit, he was the battery. So this Play-Doh is what we call 
conductive plate off, right? It's like wires, right? So it's easy to make a circuit. And these are small lights that we call LEDs. We want you to plan your design because engineers, before they start building, they usually draw out their design. Once you get your kit, draw your circuit first, right, on the sheet. Once you get your paper, start drawing. How are you going to take these materials and make an electrical circuit? a circuit, right? Remember, it has, remember the, the, the kids up there? Were they all in one? Or how do you make the wire out of this? This is also wire. But see, you're connecting both parts of the light, right? Yeah. This needs, one po one is positive and one is oh, negative. Oh, yeah. How'd you do that? I connected these two together and I put these around. This is a conductive Play-Doh, right? It's like a wire, right? So we want to make a bigger circuit. Like you can, that, you're right, that works, right? Then, but you don't need the Play-Doh then, right? And I noticed that a lot of you are having some problems. Has anyone not been able to make it? Remember that our goal is to make a circuit. It doesn't count if you're holding it. So look, here's the circuit that you're trying to make. There's the battery. Right? This is a drawing of the circuit. There's the battery. And this is wire right here. This Play-Doh is wire, right? But all of, see, notice these two wires are not touching. Some of you have a ball of Play-Doh. So that means both wires are touching. If it's not working for you, take your Play-Doh and make two different balls. Okay, now take your battery and now these are the wires, right, that are sticking out of your battery. And this is also part of a wire. So this is almost like an extension of the wire. an electrical circuit, you were shorting it, right? Because the wires were, were touching. Oh, how many times did it take you to do that? Okay, so it wasn't your first design. So you had to, the first design didn't work, right? So then you had to redesign it, right? You had to come up with a new way. And that's kind of what engineers do, right? The first, every time we design something, the first time it never works. But then if we keep trying, we can make it work. Yeah, so congratulations. Okay, well, engineers, electrical engineers like me, you all made a circuit. Had anyone ever made a circuit before? Before today? Is this your first time? Yes. Yes? Okay, well, congratulations. I hope you had a great time. Muchas gracias y esperamos que regresen la semana que viene. ¿Verdad? Tenemos más para aprender. Muchas gracias.